Hi there, this is AJ with Digitrax. I'm here to announce our new 8 servo stationary decoder. It's the DS78V and it supports 8 9G servos for turnout control and motion control and 16 input lines. Here we have a DS78V and it's connected to four 9G servos and two CP1 uh, fascia switch control panels. And this is an example of uh, how you do it. Of course, we would have eight servos and eight of the CP1s on a full installation, but this is just a quick illustration. Here we have a DSX C4, which connects from the inputs to that for convenience. Now, the DS78V is actually have a as a convenience mode, which doesn't require anything but the connection of power. So I'll hook up a 12 volt power supply here. And the DS78V has now woken up and we have an ID LED here that's indicating that a heartbeat, which means the 78V is up and running. And we have our CP1s indicating that our uh, red condition, which is typically a thrown direction for the turnouts, at least two of the ones that we're showing right here, the convenience of this is the um, setup mode where we can press the RTS button twice, double click, and all the servos go to the throne position, which is where they are right now. And the next thing we can do is we can go to center position. We double click the ops LED uh, switch here, and they all go to the center position. And this is a position we use typically to configure the centering of the throw bars on turnouts. And the third position we can drive is to the closed position with the ID LED here. So when that double click that, and now they will go to the um, closed position as they'll be on the layout. So this is a quick way to exercise and configure the servos to get them ready to install. So um, we have, we can get out of this mode by just double clicking the one that's flashing. So in this case, it's the ID LED, we just double click, and now it's back to running. The unit is actually not connected to anything right now. So all we can do is take the DS, uh, the CP1 here, and we can click it, and we see the servo moving, click it, and see the servo moving. So this is local control to allow us to drive servos. And you can see while the servos in transit, the red green LEDs will alternate as an indication that the servos in transit. So that's the local control capability with up to eight servos and eight CP1s on the fascia. And now we're gonna hook up LocoNet. So right now there's no LocoNet so the OPS LED is off, knowing, telling us that there is no loco net. We'll hook up loco net, and that should give us the ability to control from the system. So immediately the OPS LED comes red, telling us that the loco net's connected, and we can control from the system. So we'll bring a throttle. Here we have a DS78V that's powered, the green LED is flashing every two seconds. The loco net is connected and it's now ready with the throttle to take commands from loco net. The loco net's plugged in the back here along with the power. So right now we wanna to go to switch mode, switch. And number one, we can go um, thrown or closed. And we can do thrown again. And we can see this servo is responding to this throttle command. Now, this DS78V has eight switch outputs consecutive. The factory default is switch one through eight. So if we go to, we're only showing four, but if we want to say switch four, we go four, close, which it already is, and then thrown. This quick example here shows four servos and two control panels along with the DS78V and we had control from the throttle or local. So 
For more information, go to the digitracks.com website and there's more information on the DS78V there. Thank you. And the DS78V is shipping now.